<laughs> Hi, and welcome to Rachel Art with Heart. Hi, hello, it's so good to see you again. Thanks for joining me again for another really fun art project today. If you haven't seen my other videos, make sure to check them out. Also like this video and subscribe because I'm always doing something really fun with kids. So today we are going to be painting something. The seasons are changing. So we are in winter and we are changing to a new season. Maybe you notice things are getting greener. Maybe you see more flowers. Maybe the days are getting longer because winter is ending and it's gonna be spring. And when it's spring, you probably see lots more flowers, maybe some bugs, maybe things are green, maybe little chickens are hatching, maybe you see little animals coming out. It is spring. The days are getting longer, the sun is out longer, it's getting a little bit warmer. So today we are going to be painting some flowers. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step on how to draw these flowers, then we're going to paint them together. All right, you guys, are you ready for a fun video? Because I have some other really fun things in store for you. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, let's draw some flowers. I have my watercolor paper here and I have my pencil ready. And we're gonna start off with drawing daisies first. So the first thing you're gonna do, decide where you wanna put your daisies on your page. And then we're gonna go ahead and draw a circle, or an oval, sorry. Oval sideways, kind of like that. Maybe I'll put a couple here. So here's another one. I'm gonna erase this out. Maybe I'll put another one up here. Okay. So once I have that, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start drawing my petals. Petal here. And in my petals, there's gonna be a little bit of a bump going in, right? So it goes out, a little bit of a bump, out, a little bit of a bump, out. This one's gonna come off the page and that's okay. Same thing over here. Now these are going to overlap each other. So we're gonna do it under, this way. little bit of a bump going in and a little bit of a bump. Do the same up here. Bump. Bump. This one got a little wonky here, so let me fix that. There we go. All right. So I have my petals, and then I'm gonna keep on drawing petals onto each of my flowers, okay? So, and my petals are kind of like, almost like if you stretched an oval, right? They're almost like if you stretched an oval. They're not actually circles. They're almost like a really stretched oval, right? So this in a little bit and a really stretched oval and another one over here this one's behind and another one coming up behind really stretched oval behind. I'm 
gonna have some layered petals over here. Again, some layered petals. Actually might not even end up seeing some of these because these petals are gonna be sticking out, right? Have some layered petals over this way. Layered petals maybe over this way. So if they're on top, I'm going to erase out like that on top, erase out like that. And then I'll start over here with my petals and over here. here, kind of just repeating. Okay. So some of these I'm going to change. See how I have the curved on each of these? I'm gonna maybe change some of them and they're gonna be round on top. Like this. And round. Sticking out over here, over here, coming out from behind. Same thing over here. I'll erase some of these out and round. like a round oval shape, right? All right, and now that we have all of those, I'm gonna do another one here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of add in these little speckle things here, just like that. Almost, those are like the seeds inside of the flower. Add some of these. This is where we start adding in the little bits of details, making our flowers really come to life. Some seeds. Here too. And then draw some of these lines coming out. There's no right way to draw these, just kind of some lines coming out.
and the same thing over here. our daisy and we'll maybe draw some over here to kind of get an idea of where our stems are and the next thing we're gonna go ahead and draw is some tulips I'm gonna go ahead and draw a couple of tulips with our tulips I'm gonna start by drawing almost like um they look like leaves right they're gonna look like this two. Draw one a little lower down here. Two leaves. Two leaves like this. And then almost like a bump coming out of the leaves. A bump coming out of the leaves. A bump over here. And a bump coming around the side. And then we're going to do the same thing. A bump coming out here. And a bump coming out of this side. Then we're gonna go ahead and just kind of draw in some of those shadowing lines, right? Draw in some of those shadowing lines like this. draw some tulips facing the other way. So if we wanted our tu another tulip to go this way, I'm gonna draw a bigger leaf, like a thicker leaf like this. Another one coming around. And two of these kind of coming out. There we go. And same thing, we're gonna draw those shadow lines. Here, let's go ahead and draw a sunflower. We're gonna start by doing three circles. One circle, another circle around, and another circle around this one, like this. Actually, a lot of my petals, that's okay. They're gonna come off the edge a little bit, but that's okay. And then we're gonna draw some you know how sunflowers have all those little sunflower seeds inside. All those little sunflower seeds inside. Going around like this. We're gonna kind of have them going around in a circle. Like this. I'm drawing kind of really small, quick little circles. draw all of our beautiful sunflowers, the petals. Our petals have kind of these 
wispy kind of looks, right? They're not all the same, but oh, they're these wispy. Looks like this, right? Almost like they're wiggly, wiggly kind of petals. They almost look like flames, huh? Kind of like flames. Going out. Layering of our petals. we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to draw those lines, those shadows kind of coming out on each of the petals. Right, because sunflowers have lots and lots of little seeds in here. There we go. All of our little seeds for our sunflower. All right. The last flower we're going to draw, we're going to draw some sweet peas. I'm going to draw them over here. I'm going to draw the stem coming up. There's kind of like the, the sweet peas have these leaves that are a little bit almost like this shape. And over here, kind of like something like that. And then they have over here. So let me re draw this one. And out of some space. So I'm going to start a little bit small over here. And then 
and again, like our others, we are gonna go ahead and draw those shadows, right? The shadows. So that's where these start to really look a little bit more lifelike. Let me draw those shadows. done with my flowers. I'm gonna finish some of my stems over here that didn't get to finish going down. My tulips. Some of these over here, my daisies. And their stem, my sunflower. They tend to have a thicker kind of stem. And now that I feel all finished, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting these. I'm gonna grab my watercolors over here in my watercolor palette. I have a water jar right here. I'm gonna wipe, wipe, wipe. I say wipe, 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 get my paintbrush wet. Wipe, wipe, wipe. And the first thing I'm gonna start with is yellow for my sunflower. Just carefully start painting my sunflower. If it gets a little bit out of the lines there, that's okay. And when I use my watercolors, I like to start with the lighter colors first. So that's why I'm starting with my watercolor or my yellow first. So it's a lighter color. Inside just yet. I'm gonna get a little bit of kind of yellow again and put on top. Kind of not all of it, but have some spots be a little bit of darker yellow. There we go. I'm gonna clean my paintbrush. Wipe, wipe, wipe. And then I'm gonna start with my tulips. And my tulips, actually I'm gonna start with my sweet pea. I'm gonna make them a pink color. tulips purple. I'm going to do them a purple color. Different colors. 
Maybe I'll do some of my daisies. I know daisies are normally white, but I'm gonna make my daisies colorful. I'm gonna do some colorful daisies. I'm gonna do one of them, it's gonna be an orange color. Daisy, maybe, hmm, <laughs> maybe a kind of reddish pink color. And you notice I'm not coloring in any of my inside, my seeds, because I'm gonna save that for last because those are the darker colors. Daisy. I'm gonna make it hmm, kind of a yellow color, but a different color yellow than I used for my sunflower. It's more of a brownish kind of yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add in some of those the, where the seeds would be. So I'm gonna choose a brownish kind of color. I don't want it too, too dark. I'm gonna go in where the seeds are. There we go, so there's my sunflower. And over here for my daisies, I'm gonna make it almost like a greenish kind of brown. Greenish kind of brown. Now I'm gonna paint my stems.
forgot to draw a leaf for my flower, for my sunflower, but they normally have kind of a really big kind of leaf. So I'm going to paint one on. You can paint one on if you want to as well. or leaves on different plants are different colors. carefully color the background. I'm going to choose to color my background a light a light blue kind of color. You can color your background whatever color you want. I'm choosing a blue. It's a little darker than I want it. So I'm going to get some water and carefully paint around each of my flowers. If some of them, the colors bleed into each other, that's okay. That's what happens with watercolors. They tend to bleed into each other. When I say bleed into each other, it means that they blend into each other. So like right here, they start to blend into each other. So when I say bleed into each other, that's what I mean. They kind of blend into each other.
All right. So there's my painting of some flowers. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm feeling pretty done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my napkin and I'm gonna blot, blot, blot. If you don't want to blot, 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 you don't have to. You can let your painting just simply dry. That's okay as well. But I'm gonna blot, blot, blot because I'm gonna put a marker on top. So I wanna make sure my paper is dry. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my marker. If you wanna just use black, you can use black. If you wanna use other colors, like, like the colors you used when you painted, you can choose to do that as well. What I mean by that is, say over here for our sunflowers, since we used brown for the seeds, you can get a brown, this is a marker with some thin lines, and try, start drawing in some of those details to be a little bit brighter, right? So if you don't have different color markers, that's okay. You don't have to do that. You can just use the black marker. If you have different color markers, you can go ahead and color those in, making some of those parts just stick out a little bit more. Over here, draw maybe some of the lines kind of sticking out a little bit more. Okay, see if you can kind of just keep on drawing in some of those on top of the lines that we already did, those shadow lines. Just makes them pop a little bit more. If you don't want to color markers on top of your flowers and you like your flowers just the way they are, you are more than welcome to obviously keep your flowers just the way they are and you do not have to draw anything on top of your flowers. If you want to just watch me and see what it looks like at the end when you do use marker on top, you can do that as well.
Now I'll show you what it kind of looks like if we do black on top. So I'll show you with our sweet piece over here. If I want to trace with the black around, make some of these pop a little bit more. So there's if I wanted to do black on top. And then let me show you again with our tulips. If I decided to put a similar marker on top, so I have a purple one, and I'm going to trace around. There's kind of if I did a similar color, and then I'll show you with green. So if I chase, trace around here with a green marker. So it was up to you if you wanna use the black or you wanna trace around with the colors to help it pop a little bit more. I'm gonna do finish off with my daisies over here. some seeds. the petals.
There we go. And down here. So there's kind of a difference. There's if I did with black, the colors, black. Um, you can kind of decide which way you want to go. I'm gonna finish, since I started this daisy with black, I'm gonna finish all of them with black and draw on the seeds. All right, and there's my complete picture of my flowers. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today, creating our beautiful flowers. Can I see how yours turned out? Oh, wow, I love all the colors you decided to use. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. Keep on creating and keep on having fun. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.